Would you like to get infinite bites without having to search for clown hats and big saucepans? Bites are essential in Astroneer. You cannot unlock the items in the game without bites. It's like the currency of the game. Watch this video to learn how to make an infinite bite full auto farm. And by auto farm, I mean a full automated farm, meaning it will run forever and you will not need to supply it or do anything else. Consider subscribing to enjoy my weekly Astroner videos, but first of all, let's play a game. Guess which resource we're going to use to fuel our bite farm. Here's a riddle. It's blue, green, violet, wonderful and useless. Did you guess it? You are correct, it's Astronium. <laughs> Ok, Astronium may not be completely useless, especially after the latest updates, but currently it's not used in any recipe. So don't get offended, but even though it's so shiny, I consider it almost useless. I'm just kidding, I love Astronium. In order to produce bytes, we're going to scan Astronium in a research chamber, which will give us a thousand bytes every 25 minutes. Anyway, just be aware, I have encountered this little bug, it initially says it's gonna take 50 minutes, but don't worry, once you start the chamber it's gonna take only 25 minutes. By the way, how many bytes do you currently have? Let me know in the comments. But here's the trick. If you grab a consumed astronium that has just a few bytes left to research and you put it in a canister, ta-da! 1000 fresh bytes, like nothing has ever happened. It's like a regenerating sauna for astronium only, where you get out of it fresher and younger. I wish there was something to make me fresher and younger. <sighs> Anyway, now that we know this, it means that we can use one single ore of Astronium without having to go to the core and look for it, which means fully automated bite farm. So let's start before the Astronium gets old again. Let's place a large platform and a research chamber. Add an RTG that will supply 4 units of power per second, which is exactly what we're going to need for the chamber and two auto arms. You can use any other power source, but make sure you are producing at least 4 units of power per second, otherwise the contraption may not work as intended, as I will explain later. Add an auto arm with its green area toward the outside. Add a small platform with an auto arm facing the opposite way, with its green area reaching into the research chamber and make sure it's receiving power. Now add one more small platform and a canister set to enable output. If output is enabled, you should see the description disable output. And make sure that this canister's output is within the green area of the first auto arm, so that it can collect astronium from the canister and within the blue area of the other auto arm, so that it can collect too. Since Astronium produces a thousand bytes in 25 real-life minutes, we're going to make a clock that counts real-life minutes, unlike other kinds of clock that work with game ticks. I have used my high-tech instrument, also known as my phone's timer app, to estimate the time that it takes for a canister to suck an item or dispense it, and my phone's timer app, uh, I mean, my highly reliable instrument tells me that it takes one second. I haven't found any official info about this, but after some tests, it really seems that it takes one second. I'm going to use the same design I have used to make the 12 hours clock some time ago. Have a look at that video later if you wish, I'll leave a link in the description. So let's take advantage of the canister's behavior and place one of it with 6 resources on this platform. It could be any resource, I'm using some cheap compound. Now we need to place this large storage and leave only 6 slots available. So you will need to fill up one of these slots with anything you want. I'm gonna use this seat so that I can relax while waiting for my bites and maybe, maybe bite some food. No need to comment this joke. Now we need to get a signal every minute, so let's place 2 count repeaters the one at the bottom set to 5 and leave the one on the top set to 2. I'm not good at math, but I should be able to do this. 5 times 2 equals 10. 
the canister is going to count 6 items corresponding to 6 seconds. 6 seconds multiplied by 10 equals 60 seconds, so we get a full minute. So this first set of repeaters will count minutes, but how many minutes do we need to count? Since it takes 25 minutes to get a thousand bytes through Astronium, to be on the safe side, let's count 24 minutes. And we'll keep one extra minute in case anything lags. So let's place two more repeaters to count up to 24. Let's set the first counter to 8 and the second one to 3. 8 times 3 equals 24. Now connect the minutes counter to this counter and make sure to wire it to the counter at the bottom, not the one on top. Now pull the wire from the second pile of counters and hook it temporarily to the ground. Now we're going to get a signal roughly every 24 minutes. And that's why you need to make sure that the research chamber has enough power, because if it receives less than 2 units per second, it will run slower and it won't be synchronized with the clock. Because, believe it or not, clocks have a pesky tendency to be very punctual. Hit the like button now if you think clocks are too punctual. Now let's place a storage sensor set to full empty. Let's pull the line and hook it to the ground, then create a line that goes to the canister and one that goes to the count repeaters. This will be triggered every time the six compound ores are collected or dispensed, starting our clock. But where is that impulse going to? It's going to disable the chamber, so that astronium can be collected and be put into the canister. Then the auto arm will collect the astronium coming fresh out of the sauna and put it back into the research chamber for a new beauty treatment. Actually, it's coming out of the sauna, so it can't be fresh, can it? It should be hot. Whatever. So let's make this part. Don't worry, it's gonna be much simpler. Let's pull the wire coming from our minute counter and hook it to the ground once more, then pull a line to the chamber, one on this auto arm, and one to this delay repeater set to 25 ticks. The delay will make sure to switch the auto arm off after it has deposited the astronium ore in the canister and to make the chamber run again after the astronium is put back in it. You may add astronium to the auto arms filter to make sure that they are not grabbing anything else, but this is very important to make sure that the auto arm to the left is on. Now you can test it, pop an astronium into the chamber and I like to place a button repeater to make sure I run the chamber and the clock at the same time. Pull two lines, one going to the chamber and one going to the canister of the clock, and there we go! I'd show you the result, but you'd be forced to listen to my dad jokes for the next 24 minutes, so just try to make your own and enjoy infinite bytes. Join my channel to get exclusive content and don't forget to subscribe for weekly Astroneer videos. See you next week! Stay safe.